This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Gaming Logo Intro. As always, I'm using the 1920 by 1080 resolution and frame rate of 30. Also, my duration is 10 seconds longer. Now the first step is to create a new solid layer. I am calling it the background. Use any color you want and then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the grid. Apply it onto the layer, and first, change the size from to the width slider. Also, change the width value to 20. Now change the border value to a higher number. Let's keep it 20 for now, and you can see some tiny dots on the composition frame. Just click on this invert grid, then change the border value to 19. And these dots will look much cleaner. Let's apply one more effect to it. Again, go to the effects and the presets and search for the turbulent displace. Place it right below the grid layer, and first, change the pinning value to none. It will fix the issue of the edge. But, as you can see here, the dots are not visible around the edges. It is because of the layer size. So we need to increase the size of it. Select your solid layer, and press Ctrl, or Command Shift Y. And click on this lock aspect ratio, and increase the width value to a higher number. Let's keep it 2700 pixels. And it will fix the issue. Let's change the color of the dot to gray. And it will look much better. Let's add some animation to it. But before adding some animation, let's talk about today's sponsor. Do you know you can increase your Netflix library, simply by switching to a different country? Mexico. All I'm saying. No, you don't have to buy an aeroplane ticket for that, because NordVPN is doing it for you. A VPN can let you see more websites and content, which may be blocked in your country. Just simply connect to a different region, you will get a whole new library to access. Not only this, it lets you browse the internet in a more secure way. It simply encrypts your browsing data, so that no one can see which website are you visiting. Visit the nordvpn.com slash of niche parker and get a two year plan plus one additional months with a huge discount. Let's get back to the tutorial. Press and hold the ALT or OPTION key on your keyboard, and click on this evolution stopwatch icon, to add an expression. In this expression area, type time, star, 60. And it will change the evolution value, 60 times per second. Let's minimize this layer, and then hide it, because we don't need to focus on it for now. Let's add the text now. Go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. Eject from the typing box, and then grab the move tool, and align your text into the center. Please note, I'm using this dead stock font, and my font size is 200 pixels. You can download this font from the link in the description. Again, go to the effects and the presets, and search for the transform. Place it onto the text layer, and then change the skew value to negative 10. It will add this nice looking skew to the text. Now right click on your text layer, and pre-compose it. I am calling it main text, and then hit OK. Again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the stroke. 
Apply it onto the layer, and let's add a path on it. Select the pen tool, and create a mask on this text layer. Now you may be wondering, this is the third straight tutorial, which is using the same stroke technique. Yes, you are right, but don't worry, you will like the result. Make sure to add different paths for each letter. You can do it very easily. After adding a path on the first letter, simply select your text layer, and start creating the path for the second letter. It will automatically create a new path, instead of continuing the previous path. Now start tracing your text layer, and try to make it as close as you can. I am fast forwarding this step to save your time. Now in the stroke effect, change the spacing value to 0%. And then change the brush hardness to 100%. Also, change the paint style to reveal original image. And it will hide the text now. Let's select the move tool, and then click on this all mask option. It will start showing your text letters. We will use the end for animating the text. Let's increase the brush size value to a higher number. Let's keep it 16. Now change the end value to 0%, then go to around 10 frames position, and add a keyframe on the end. Then go to around 1 second, and 10 frame position, and change the end value to 100%. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. Now click on this stroke sequentially option, and the text will start animating in this way. I like this one. Now press U, to reveal all keyframes. Select both keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Not bad. Now import this light leak video into your project. You can download it from the link in the description. Place it right below the text layer, and then press S to open scale, and change the scale value to a lower number. Try to keep the scale size of the light leak, as close as the text layer. Now we will use the track mat option. In case this track mat option is not available for you, press F4 to switch between. Or you can simply right click here, go to the columns, and choose modes, as well as the parent, because we are going to need them. Now click on the track mat, and choose alpha mat. Now, this light leak will be visible right inside the text layer. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. Not bad. Let's add some scale animation to it. Create a new null object, and call it scale. Make sure to place it on top of all layers. Now select the text and the light leak layer. Then grab this pick whip, and drop it onto the scale. These layers will link with this null object. Now press S to open scale, then go to around 1 second position, and add a keyframe on the scale. Then go to around the 18 frames position, and change the scale value to a higher number. Let's keep it 140%. Now go to the 4 second position, and change the scale value to 80%. Then move to the 6 second position, and change the scale value to a higher number. It will add this nice zoom in and zoom out effect on the text layer. Now select all keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. Now select any keyframe, then open graph editor, and change the curves to something like this. Select the second last keyframe and change its curve as well. In case this graph does not look like this, then right click on it, and choose edit speed graph. Switch back to the main timeline. 
and check the animation now. I like this one. Let's move to the next step. Select the text, as well as the light leak layer, and make a duplicate of it. Now select the top text layer, then go to the effects and the preset, and search for the CC radial fast blur. Place it below the stroke effect, and change the amount value to around 80. It will add these light rays to your text. Now select the text layer once again, and press T to open opacity. Here change the opacity value to 30%. Now minimize all layers to get some room, and then create a new adjustment layer. I am calling it glow. Again, go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the glow. Place it onto the layer, and then change the glow radius value to around 300. It will add a nice looking glow to the text. In case you are seeing these edges on the rays, you can fix it very easily. Just change the scale size of the light leak layer. Make it a little bigger, and the sharp edge will disappear. Now select both layers, and place them right above the background layer. Let's turn on the background now, and this is how it looks. Let's select the background layer, then grab this color picker tool, and choose the yellow color from the text. I'm also going to change the opacity of it. Let's keep it 10%. Also, select the raise text layer, and change the opacity value to 10%. Check the animation, and now we are done. Again thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace. Thank you.